Welcome back to Monday Mindset with Josh Hyde, bringing you a new episode every Monday to start your week off on a high 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 note. What's up, everyone? I am excited to have you guys tuning in today for our Monday Mindset. And today is a very important lesson and something that absolutely changed my life. Uh, So I figured I'd hop on and share with you guys. So when we decide to stop listening to ourselves and then start talking to ourselves, it'll change the game. And I'll give you an example. I'll never forget when Tiff and I first got into uh, real estate investing, we learned how to fix and flip houses. Well, when we learned how to fix and flip houses, everyone said you send, uh, you know, postcards or letters to people's houses. That's how we were taught, go direct mail. And we were sending mailers out. Now, the problem was, is we were sending out 50 mailers a week. And if you know the conversions on mail, that's not going to get you a deal anytime soon. And actually, it was it took us six months to get our first deal. But the problem was around month two, three, four, and even five, this doubt started to creep in. And there's a bunch of noises going on in our head. There's a lot of voices. But the key is that we listen to, that we have to pick out what are what is actually facts and what are lies or distortions. And for us at that point in time, it was this doubt of, is this even possible? Can someone really buy a property off market at a discount? We had been trying and trying and failing and failing time and time again, and it just didn't seem like a a reality for us until we started to look at the truth, the story that was being told. Well, the truth was we were getting 50 mailers out a week. We were getting a handful of calls from those mailers. And we got some appointments. We went, we looked at houses and we made offers. We were just losing um, on our offers. We were just off for whatever reason. And again, the doubt and the lies that we were telling ourselves is that this is impossible. This is a a fake dream. It just can't be done. But the truth was that we were getting opportunities. We just were not converting the opportunities. So when, I, when we started talking to ourselves, instead of listening, instead of listening to the lies of this isn't possible and telling ourselves, no, this is possible, you're getting traction, you just have to improve your sales skill set. And then as soon as we made that, that decision to go and focus on our sales skill set, literally the next appointment that we had after spending 10 days, just 10 days focusing on our sales skills, we landed our first deal. Now that first deal was nothing crazy. I think we bought... Uh, we, we actually had a house, the seller wanted 55,000. We talked them down and signed a contract for 22, five, and we put $7,000 into this deal and we sold it for maybe 60,000 or 57. We made a total of, uh, I think it was $17,000 exactly on a house that we owned for less than two months. So that was proof of concept for us. So now all of a sudden we're telling ourselves this is possible. This is proof. Here's, here's the proof in the pudding. So let's go and now duplicate this. And literally the next month we did three deals. So we went from no deals in our first six months, got our first one, proof of concept, sold it. And boom, the next 30 days, three deals locked in place. So the key here again is don't listen to the lies in your head. Start telling yourself the truth. Start talking to yourself on the actions that you need to take in order to get the results that you want. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. This absolutely changed our lives, and I hope that this is life-changing for you as well. Tune in next week. If you know someone that needs to hear this, send them a text. Let them know you're thinking about them on this Monday morning. Help them start their week off right. Make sure you follow me on social media, and make sure you tune in next Monday.